Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Thursday, August 1st, 2024 crosswords, and go for that 1616 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini's always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Ace, Alpha, Coral, Eject, Evict, Love, uh, April, uh, Shack, and it was Evict. Makes more sense than Eject in retrospect. German word for glove is hand shoe. Is that the German word for glove? I guess so. What's the word for hand? In German. I guess we can look that up, huh? Let's see. Love in German. Hand in German. Do in German. Ah. Love. Other way around. German. Ah. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. The, uh... This clue is written... I guess so. The translation of glove. I was wondering if this was similar to the German word, but okay. Anschiff. German people. German language does love just pinning nouns together, right? Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Rajaswari Rajamani today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursday is the best day of the week. It's the hardest themed puzzle, so sometimes it involves some kind of a fun trick to figure out. So let's see what uh, Rajaswari Rajamani has in store for us. Let's get into it. Tools for making belt holes are alls. Interjection that might serve as a mild warning. Ahem, maybe? Signal to stop, say? Nearsighted sort. Uh, like some kitchen paper waxy. Cosmetic procedure is lipo. This is like myope. Not careful. This is hail. They're found next to cabarets. Okay. Blank soul music genre. Neo soul. Viable investment plans. Okay. Fanny May and cocktail served in a copper mug is a mule. Popular subject for still life drawing. Just urn. Spare perhaps. Common something. Makes a gradual entry. Eases in. Like pomegranate seeds, but not apple seeds. Okay. Let's go here. Like a kite. Psych up. It's probably amp up an avium. AirPods come in pairs. Things weaver weave. Weavers weave. Uh, what subjects and their verbs should always does. Agree. Middle ground from the Latin. Tiny pest is a midge. Bad apple, it's an idiom. Nests here, this is moe. Via media or something like that. And a protein for bodybuilders, maybe it's way. Gobuku is weep. Many pages are written using HTML. Occupants of UFOs are ETs, I'm guessing. Isaac's firstborn is Esau. This is going to be UFOs, right? Yeah. Flower shop purchases. Meet a mid-April deadline is to e-file. Who pays all legal costs under the so-called English rule? The loser pulls up on Zillow, puts up on Zillow is to list. Could be just tulip. Like some nasty habits. Fraud. Hey, what is this? They might be marked as absent. Like many a flower girl, probably just niece. Blank the elephant. Don't know that. Excerpt. It's very to sight. Show signs of mythomania. Okay, and they may be locked or rolled. Eyes? Google Maps, maybe. A Crip, maybe, actually. Ella the Elephant? I'm not sure. Measure the depth of is plumb the depth of. Endpoint of a radius. Uh, radius in your... It'd be, uh, maybe. Is that right? Racetrack leader. 
should be. Steer tip in your leg like corduroy fabric. Brings back on, rehires. Where you might find yourself on edge, question mark, and approximate recipe measure. Isaac Newton is Sir Isaac Newton. Tedium could just be ennui. Stylized name for a caffeinated, caffeinated soft drink. Maybe it's not. This could be Nada Zilch, company that acquired Postmates. I think it's Uber. Isn't that nice? Many a gym goer's goal, or what the starred clues in the puzzle must have for their answers to make sense. Something about your abs. Ripped abs. Open show of intimacy is PDA. Flower shop purchase. Maybe a pot. Endoskeleton or endoscope. Trick taking start card game. I guess it's skip and ice rank here. Scat, uh, rather. So we have to rip the abs out of them. This is exponents up here. Uh, next to carrots. Okay, we'd have to take the abs out of the clue. Common area. Spare, perhaps. Neighbor of Ursa Major could just be Leo. OCD might be associated with hyper awareness. Vile, vile investment plans, Ponzi schemes. Documents that ensure secrecies are NDAs. Target of benzyl peroxide is a zit. Split is divided. Uh, by talk orally, this clip. Tibia is wrong, right? Uh, Eaton. This is just your elbow. Broad as an imposter. What was this clue again? They might be marked as scent. Racetrack leader is the pole car. Man eating menace is an ogre. This is just ridgy. Interesting. A dab. Like some nasty hits. Below the belt. This is Mount. Do okay. A wart on a witch costume. Junipero Sarah. Sea dog or sea day and no. Spa day. Imposter. Bleep. Alright. Made it through. Made it through in a reasonable time. Some tricky parts there. But we've got ripped abs. You have to rip the abs out of the clue to make them make sense. They're found next to carrots, like if you're coding, for example, in some programming languages, in LaTeX anyway. <laughs> Put a carrot, then your exponent. I guess in some you do uh, asterisk, asterisk, right? Okay, but vile investment plans. This feels a bit contrived. I'm trying to think of how natural the clue would would seem. Like, how misleading is it, right? They're found next to Cavarace isn't really cluing anything else, you know? Viable investment plans also isn't... Like, you'd never see this... It's not a natural clue. You know what I mean? Like, what legitimate crossword entry does it... Um, clue? You wouldn't really call... An investment plan viable versus not viable you know some somehow um this clue reads well right they may be marked as absent you know if there's a word for someone playing hooky or a walls or something you know baby talk this clue also reads very reasonable reasonably like coo 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 goo goo or something like some nasty habits. Yeah, so I would say that these three are clued very naturally in a way that you might think that there's some other reasonable answer, but these are clued in a bit in a bit of a weird way. There's no real thing that you think, oh, those are fine next to cabarets. And um Yeah, you don't really say. Like, sure, like they're legitimate investment plans, right? They're like good investment plans to make use of but no even right no one would say like oh my 401k is a viable investment plan so i wonder if a better clue could be given but overall it's a nice puzzle uh 
Glad I got down to the revealer pretty quickly when solving. There were definitely some hard clues along the way, I would say. Let's take a look through this thing. See what we can learn. Alls is definitely a word that pops up in crosswords fairly often. Mule, like a Moscow mule or a Kentucky mule. Kite here, just the kind of bird, the kite. But is a weaver also kind of bird? Which kites are big birds, right? Birds of prey, even. But is a weaver a bird? It is. So we've got two misdirect bird clues crossing. <laughs> Which is interesting. I might have dispensed with one of them. Uh, like nests, you could clue as like, you know, exhibit some pre-baby behavior or something. Common area. This is like, is this like the common area? Like, yeah, a place in a building. Yeah, like in your college dorm, say, has a common area. Got ETs and UFOs. This clue is so transparent, you can figure out just by looking at this one clue, you know. Uh, ridgy. I have doubts about ridgy as a word. That's going to kick back having ridges, but... It's in, it's in Merriam-Webster. It's been around since 1608. My complaints are. But it's not really used. Normally, um, it'll maybe show some excerpt from an article. I think you would just say ridged, generally. I recognize it, but I just don't really love it. Uh, Okay. Via or via media. Nice clue on idiom. To um, fruit ones. I like the clue on agree. Also, that's kind of. It's kind of cute. Henry Miller. What did? Oh. Henry Miller. American novelist. Tropic of Cancer, Black Spring, Tropic of Capricorn, and the Rosy Crucifixion. So uh, I remember when I was just trying to do some Jeopardy review. Do you remember Henry Miller's name? I could have told you when I made my first Jeopardy appearance anyway. Yeah, where is your tibia? Your tibia is your leg, I guess, right? This is actually your humerus? <laughs> ah, I don't remember my arm bones. Tibia, fibula, those are your legs. The, yeah. The tibia doesn't make any sense, of course. You have your ulna and your radius. And then your humerus, but... Yeah, I saw the five letters, I saw the B. Didn't help myself. Can lock eyes. Imposter with an O versus an E, which is more common. I would always use an O. Apparently, imposter. Oh, with an O is more recommended. Imposter is not wrong. Yeah, I would always use an O. I think. But that's why I put an O here. But that's okay. Oh yeah, MTN Dew. I guess that is how Mountain Dew itself stylizes sometimes, right? I mean, here it is on the PepsiCo website. Here it is on the can. It's got a lot of consonants in it. It's interesting. It's really interesting. Lee Isaac Chung, 
also directed Minati. Twisters. I didn't know about actually. Interesting. It's a standalone sequel to Twister. Premiered in, on July 8th. It's gross. 200, 231 million worldwide. Gotta watch Twisters. Interesting. All right. Good job, Lee Isaac Chung. I've only seen Minati. Dog Spa or Day Spa. Yeah. I think it's a pretty nice Thursday. I did some nitpicking, but I don't think it was overly tricky, but it was enjoyable enough. And uh, I think the time was pretty, pretty much average. Uh, see how other people are doing. How people are finding it easy. 20% of solve 20% faster is the median and three quarters of solvers went faster than their average. That was four people. Now it's five. Um, so the third fastest person went 1034. I only went 4% faster than average, so... Yeah, two of the five have solved much faster. Alright, let's end on two more puzzles. Starting with the Telegraph Plus Word. Here's your spoiler alert for the Plus Word. There's a link in the description below. Plus Word's free to play. It's a British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end. You know the drill. Rain. Blank, C blank, unblank, water, I guess. Oozes. Could be seeps, actually. Bird's nests sounds like two down and airy and eerie, I think. I wouldn't pronounce this the same way. Recurrent theme or pet is a trope. Type of duck, I guess it's eider. Google parts are reeds, it was water. Uh, weeps. Is that right? Crowd. That was right. You can use oozes to mean weeps in British English. I knew water, but I thought this would be seeps. I also don't think eerie and airy are pronounced the same, but perhaps they are in British English. Ooze definition. Is there a British definition? Yes, see bye bye. Lead. Those all make sense. Or maybe weep can just mean to ooze. Maybe ooze doesn't mean to cry, but weep can mean to to ooze. Can. I see a weeping sap. Interesting. So is a weeping willow named so because Sap is weeping? Why is a weeping willow called a weeping willow? I always just think of grandmother willow. This can be attributed to a mistranslation of Psalm Slam 137. University of Vermont Library here is telling us. Okay, that's got nothing to do with oozing. At least not according to the uh, exhibit at the library at the University of Vermont. It's a symbol of grief. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. Let's end as we always do on the New York Times Connections puzzle, where we try to make four groups of four. Let's see what we got here. Little Bulldog. Sour Kiss. Husky Ring. Stout. Gruff. Pointer, horn, rough, amber, porter, horse, middle, fry. Okay, I think there are fingers here. I think. I see husky, bull, bulldog, and rough, and that's all I can think about, but that's wrong. Um, Stout, Amber, Sour, and Porter are kinds of beers. Rough, Horse, Gruff, and Husky. 
can describe a raspy voice. So all that's left is French horn, French bulldog, French kiss, and French fry. It's got to be purple, right? Let's go with the beers, I think. Nice. Let's go with... Which one of these is harder? I want to do the green one first. Husky, rough, horse, and gruff. Go with that first. No. Apparently the fingers were harder. According to... Is it Lina Lu who edits connections? I think it's just based on whatever Wina Lu thinks. Um, if I reload it, will tell me who edits it. Yeah, by Wina Lu. Um, but apparently, according to Jason Backham and Mike Wheeler, anytime there's a blank clue, it's always purple. Yeah, nice. Always a good day when you get all four connections. Anyway. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.